What is up, you guys? It is Lauren and Sam, we're the trailer couple dedicated to the simple life, and it's another wonderful day to live in the Bruder. Wow, that was really impressive. And I'm just gonna translate that for everybody who hasn't seen one of our videos before and didn't know what you said. Um, she said, what is up, you guys? It is Lauren and Sam. We are the trailer couple dedicated to that simple life. And it is another wonderful day to live in the burrito, which is what we call our trailer, is the burrito. So that's its nickname, per se. Let's talk about broken things. 730 days of living full time in our Airstream travel trailer. And we hate to admit it, but we have had more than just one minor thing break in the burrito. So today we are going to dive into several things that have broken in our Airstream travel trailer, having lived in it now for two years full time. And more importantly, we are going to answer the question of if we would have chosen to live the trailer life again if we had known these things are going to break. First off, thank you guys so much for the amazing engagement in our last video. You guys had some great perspectives and some really good feedback. And heck, I think you may have convinced us to maybe, maybe rethink just getting used cars. So stay tuned. Speaking of engagement, Lauren and I have some big news. We're actually engaged. <gasps> I'm just kidding, you guys. Just we kidding. are actually married. Yes. And we've been married for two years. Two blissful years. Blissful years. We yep. just celebrated our second wedding anniversary. Yeah, we did. Things went well. Yeah. Yeah, we got ice cream. We're still here. We did. We got ice cream. Yeah. It's important to note that things will break in RVs. Just imagine if your house was going through a sizable earthquake multiple times a month. Imagine what would break inside your house. So there will be repairs along the way, especially when you use your trailer as much as we do. Going into it, we knew that we would have minor oxidation on our trailer. We would have rivets pop out normal wear and tear so that is now what we're going to talk about today we are going to talk about things that have actually broken in our trailer that we didn't expect going into it so it's been a while since we've done a 101 video and for all of you newbies here those are videos where we try to do them in less than 101 seconds yeah. do we actually succeed in doing it no so without further ado let's put 101 seconds on the clock and simplify it so the first thing that I want to talk about is the clogged condensation line that we experienced last summer. We noticed we had some water that was dripping down from the inside of our trailer, and that's never a good thing. So we knew it had to be something related to our air conditioner, but we just didn't know what was potentially wrong. We thought maybe there was a crack in one of our drip pans or something like that. After diving into it, we found that there was a pretty sizable clog in one of our condensation lines coming from our air conditioner. So I just had to get up there with a snake and snake it through and then everything drained correctly and then we had no more leak on the inside of our trailer. On the front of the trailer, we also have one panel where the clear coat is, I guess it's kind of peeling off, but this was something that we did notice when we got the trailer used. We are gonna have to make a trip to Vinny's to get the ceramic coating. Vinny, we're coming for you. Also, in our first year of living in the trailer, we had to replace our bathroom bed fan. Both of them. You had the shower and then the bathroom. Oh yeah, we replaced mm -hmm. the shower too. Yep. I forgot about that one. This one kind of, kind of irks me a little bit. So I gotta go backwards hat mode here for it. So we had our trailer for two weeks and everything worked just fine. And then the motors on those bathroom and the shower fans actually went out. We replaced both of them. We do use those fans regularly because for us, it's very important to limit condensation buildup in our trailer and using especially our shower fan really does help with limiting um, the amount of condensation buildup because condensation is the number one cause of death for RVs nationwide. This is research supported people. I would not lie to you because I am in backwards hat mode right now. <laughs> I think it's pulling my eyebrows up. Oh, it looks good. Yeah, so it like makes you look a little bit more. Inquisitive. Oh. oh. Again, as Sam touched on, we did buy the trailer used, so we weren't sure how much these fans were used prior to us buying it, but they did both seem to break. Like, I kid you not, two weeks after we had yeah. on the trailer. Love that for us. So yesterday we had a really good comment on one of our videos. I think it was our Airstreams worth the money video. And it was someone who had recently purchased a 2019 Airstream and they had quite a few issues with it. They had some wiring problems, some leaking pipes and things of that nature. So are Airstreams still made with as high of quality as they used to be? Or has there been a decline in quality over the years? Yes, so, so please let us know your thoughts. Another thing that is broken in our trailer since living in the trailer full time is our step coming into the trailer. Now, this is not a malfunction of what Airstream has produced. This is more of human error. My brain malfunctioned. Sam broke the step. No. We talked about this briefly in another video, so I'm not gonna go too deep into it, but long story short, I put this step down too early when we were setting up our campsite in the Smoky Mountains. So when I put the front jack up to level it out and actually broke the step in the back because the pad that we were on was uneven. So mm -hmm. I don't really wanna talk about it anymore, so we're gonna just move on 
Yeah. yeah, but this is this is a good reminder to slow down when you are unhitching and um, setting up your site. Uh, we have a great video here kind of on our checklist, but just make sure that you are going through every step in order when you are setting up your site, uh, because if you don't, you could lose a step. Did we learn something from this experience? Yes. Is the step still broken? Yes. It's a step up every time I get into the trailer. My quads are getting huge. Leg day every day. You gotta make sure you alternate legs yes. or one quad's gonna get much bigger than yes. the other. It's quadzilla. Leaking pipes can kill trailers just as fast as condensation. I know we've touched on this in a previous video, but I think it's really important to reiterate that we did have, I think, three or four leaking pipes underneath the sink area and then underneath the closet area where we have our water intake. That was quite the nightmare squeezing my large body into these small spaces to replace that PEX piping. Know where water should be coming out of your trailer and where it shouldn't be. Water should be coming out of your air conditioning condensation hose. That is normal. That usually is in the wheel well of your trailer. So sometimes you have overflow from that. So you can have water that comes off the roof. Where you shouldn't have water drips is underneath your sink where you keep your trash can and <laughs> underneath the closet those are all bad areas for having water we see a leak coming out of a part of a trailer at the bottom where you don't think it should be coming from that is something that you should look into immediately whenever you travel with your trailer take five minutes once you are hooked up to make sure that none of your pipes are leaking because yes. things do jiggle free when you're on the road and you are taking your home through an earthquake um so just take the five minutes make sure none of your pipes are leaking um because i wish sam and i would have done that sooner we probably would have caught those leaks sooner but we did catch them and that's the important thing yes and sam did have to contort his body it's kind of like those you know when you go to like a, a market or a street fair or something on those people like shoving themselves in those little boxes yes have you seen those like the glass of plastic boxes and they're like folding themselves up i'm having flashbacks at that time I went to a magic show did you have to do that well i personally got sawed in half it's really sad so the next thing that has broken is both of our fantastic fans which is really disappointing for us because they are so fantastic they are fantastic i'm just looking at that just thing. look at it being fantastic i don't know if the motors went bad on them or what or if we weren't performing proper maintenance on them if anybody has any experience with faulty fantastic fans about seven years in of ownership mm -hmm. please please let us know so that we know we're not alone they both stopped working within two weeks of each other which is super weird so maybe we're missing something maybe we don't know something if you know something we don't know please let us know so we can be in the loop yes okay so something else that is broken in our trailer is the microwave and we had to get a new microwave from walmart the model we replaced it was the same exact model yeah. and we found it at walmart so i don't think that the microwaves they install are insanely nice because <laughs> it was a discount one at walmart they're not airstream brand so one other thing that we should talk about is our propane tanks so one propane tank has expired and typically those expire every 10 years, which is kind of weird because it's 2022. And if you do the math, the trailer is 2015. That's only seven years. So why would a propane tank, why would the last time it be verified be over 10 years ago? I think we've got an old propane tank on our RV and I don't know, maybe that was replaced by the previous owner, Maybe. but that wouldn't make any sense to me. So yeah, I don't know. That's a mystery. Mm -hmm. So I think don't quote me on this but i think we may have gotten an old propane tank in our new airstream the nerve so the nerve i wish we had those old school aluminum propane tanks so i've seen those on a couple old like 1975 trailers and those things are sweet so if anybody wants to give us one of those for free we would gladly accept it um in mail we'll even pay for shipping so. <laughs> yeah hit us in the dms so now for the question if we had known that these things were going to break in the airstream would we still have chosen to live the full-time trailer life and the answer is i would say yes and you would agree yes absolutely okay so it's important to know that rvs are not meant to be living full-time lots of people do it but they're not meant for that they're mobile vacation house things yep <laughs> which if you look it up on wikipedia i'm pretty sure it says the same thing the definition exactly. of an rv is yeah mobile vacation house thing thing the thing mm -hmm. is the important part. Yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> They're not meant to be living full time. We do it and we have had things break, but I don't think any of it has been like out of the ordinary, no. right? Yes, the fans are kind of frustrating because that was pretty early, but overall we've been happy with the quality that Airstream has produced. We've heard horror stories of people in houses with condensation issues and their walls and things oh, like yeah. that. So um, this isn't just, you know, isolated to trailers and things like that. I think it just brought to your attention more frequently because people expect Airstreams to just to be perfect, right? Which they are. 
I'm just kidding. It's not true. Keep in mind that things do not last forever. You have a great personality that's never going anywhere. Thank you. You're welcome. The comment that we had where we are super happy that he did reach out and give us his perspective because exposed wiring is concerning. If this is something that's happening in more than one trailer and if this isn't an isolated incident, let us know about that because that is concerning and, and that's something that people obviously should be looking for. In typical Lauren and Sam fashion, that was way over 101 seconds. So we want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for sticking with us and for also sticking with us the past few years. You guys have been awesome and it's already been two years of full-time trailer living, which is crazy. So in honor of two years on the road, we want to share with you all a few of our favorite memories and as always, happy trails. Happy trails. Fenton, roll the tape. <laughs> Alright Sam, can you tell us what we're doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Do not touch anything. What? I love you and that's all I really Making homemade pop tarts mm -hmm. with that sunset out there. That was an evil laugh. That's gonna be funny. That was a really evil laugh. That one will get the people going.